everybody, it's Sam from Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I'm doing an unboxing of the kit number 13 from Paper Craft Society. So this one is by Helen Griffin and I had the absolute pleasure to do some of the inspiration for this one. It is wonderful. So I'm a big Christmas fan anyway and I do love nutcrackers and as you can see on the front here that's what you're going to get inside. So you always get kind of a bit of a, a hint towards the papers that are going to be inside from the packaging and uh, you can see we've got nice silver foiling there and this kind of light blue and then you've got some Christmas ornaments there and then those lovely nutcrackers. So let's have a little look. So I did have a peek already. So this one here says I'm over the moon to bring you this Christmas crafting box to play with and that's from Helen. So let's pop the tissue paper to one side. We'll go through that in a moment and we'll first look inside the envelope. So I always tend to flat pack my boxes and then I try and store as much as what's in here into the envelope and then any ink cubes or mediums then I will um, I have a separate storage for. But here's the lovely envelope. So we will open it this way. Okay, so I've just taken all the plastic out. So first of all, we can look at the die set. So you're gonna be able to create crackers. So that's the, the kind of the main die in this set. So you can see this lovely big cracker die. And then you have, this looks like the outline for a ballerina. Then you have the nutcracker. You've got the Christmas tree, you've got holly. And you've got other sprigs, you've got the bow. Um, I'm not sure where that one cuts out. I'll be able to have a look in a minute. Little tree decorations or ornaments, baubles, and then you've got some frames here as well and banners just to decorate everything. So you would die cut two of this cracker. You can see your side tabs here, join them together and then you'd be able to make a four-sided or a three-sided cracker. And um, I know that that's already um, explained in the inspiration booklet, but um, yeah, really, really nice set that you have there, lots of dies. I will also be using this on my, I'm trying to think from today from filming, on Monday on my Facebook Live, I'll be using this kit um, because I know more people are starting to receive it now. So again, this is the stamp set. So you can see the Nutcracker stamp, the ballerina, and then, oh, I think that other die cuts uh, the drum. You've got the drum image there as well. You've got keys, candles, all your sprigs, your different foliage there, hanging kind of baubles or bells. You've got that looks like an orange segment, it's like a tree decoration, you've got the bow and then your sentiments are joy to the world, have a cracking Christmas, a merry Christmas and twinkle all of the way. I think they're really nice, I cannot wait to start using this one. I was done, I'd done the inspiration probably about two months ago now so I had a brief to work with a particular die and stamps so it would be nice to be able to use everything now that I have it myself. So again I'm just going to take these papers out just to show you what you've got. So you have two of that lovely nutcracker print, then you have two of this print here that's got your Merry Christmas on there. Reminds me of a vintage wrapping paper that one. Then you have this one here which has got all of the different leaves and the flowers and stuff there. And then this one is your ornaments. Yeah, it's an orange, kind of like an orange slice there, not segment. That's that one. And that's that lovely blue colour that's on the box. And then you have these. So I never got to see these actually. And um, these are just kind of pre kind of cut little toppers. You could have that as a little gift tag as well. So you've got Merry Christmas and then you've got some actual photographs here. You can see again there, I'm going to take these all apart. Jingle all the way with the drum. You've got Merry Christmas and then you have this one here as well. So I like them as gift tags. I think that's how I'm going to use those. And then this, these are your jokes to go in your crackers. So you've got the, the joke and then the, the, the kind of the answer, the pun. Not, not who's there, Hannah, Hannah who, Hannah Partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> so I will definitely get these used. I'm actually thinking I'm going to do these. I have um, seven, well, so there's six, seven including me, but six of my closest school friends. We always get together every Christmas. We're going to have to try and work this one out, how it will work with the, the rule of six. But I always do a little kind of, I've, I've shared it in, in tutorials over the, the, you know, the years, but I always put together like little gift bags that I give them all. So I think they're all going to have one of these crackers with the gifts and then I can get some sweet treats to go inside them. So that's that's one kind of element that can go into their gift bag of goodies. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to putting those all together. So that's everything that you get in your envelope or your wallet. And like, like I said, it all folds up really nicely and I have them all displayed on a shelf. And then here we have 
our tissue paper, lovely red. You get two sheets, so that all I keep all of mine and I use them for when I'm giving presents. So this will go into like my Christmas colours. So what do we have here? We've got some embossing ink, so it's your watermark ink. And uh, you have your silver embossing powder, and I'm glad I've got this one. I have actually done an order for a big tub of silver embossing powder, but I've used this little one a lot because I had this obviously a few months ago. And um, it's a lovely, very, very fine, very dusty silver, but it gives you a lovely embossed finish. Then you have a bag of bells. I love bells. I use these so much on my Christmas makes and on my gift, you know, gift tags when I'm wrapping presents and so on. So you get quite a lot there as well. You get 20 bells, so there's lots in there. Then you have your ribbon, so you've got this lovely silver ribbon there. And then these are your cracker pulls, I call them cracker snaps. So these go inside the cracker so that one person pulls one end, you pull the other, and then when, they, when the cracker pulls apart, it will make a bang or a snap sound and um, all the bits and pieces will fall out. So it's really nice that those are in there as well. Then you have your little information cards. This one says, add a touch of sparkle to make a Christmas magical. And this one is simply made cards, Christmas cracker. Cut at least three cracker panels and carefully fold the side. Also, it's telling you how to put your cracker together. Add the snap, a small gift or sweets, and a joke, and tie off the ends with your silver ribbon. Also, you should have a Christmas hat inside. You can buy them off of Amazon. I always buy them every year. You can get a, like a, you can get all different colours really, but you put you put a paper hat inside as well. If you want a longer cracker, trim the ends for on on your panels and join together. Also, you can extend that cracker as well, so that's really good to know. And then you can do a three panel, four panel, a five panel, or a six panel. So you've got a, pent a pentagonal or a hexagonal cracker. So you can actually do four styles of cracker with this one. So that's really good. So I'd definitely be having a play around with that. Here we have, these are always white core, so you can do lots of um, techniques with it. So we have Christmas red. So we've got two, two sheets of the Christmas red. And we've got that lovely winter blue. It's like an ice blue. And then we have like a nice cobalt blue there, really rich, lovely Christmas green. And then we have the creams. So this one's more heavy on the cardstock, I guess, because of the cracker. These give you all your base kind of colours to, to make the cracker. And then you have your pattern paper to do your layers and so on. So it's really nice to have all those there. And like I said, they are double sided and they're white core. So you can do some nice different techniques. And then here's the lovely Helen. And this is your information and your inspiration booklet. So I won't talk through all of it, but again, there's always new people watching these unboxings. So you always get a little welcome by Helen herself. It gives you kind of an overview of what's inside the booklet, everything that you get inside your kit. And then just so, again, if, if some of you aren't familiar with how this cracker should look, Helen's shown you here a three-sided cracker. So you've got your triangular one and then a square. So that's your four-sided cracker. And basically you pull the ends of this and these, you know, your snaps there will come apart. So it talks you all through how to make that, a little bit about Helen and questions. And then I won't show, like I said, all the cards, but just to give you another idea of what you can do, I made this pop-up card with the four Christmas trees. So when you open up the card, these four will stand up. And then just to give you an idea on the detail of those foliage uh, kind of dies and the sprigs, things like that, you can make these kind of cards. So I made these, I've done five in total. So this one here, I turned it into kind of look like mistletoe. Um, or it could be holly. I mean, I'd done the berries in white, in red, but if you'd done them in white, then it would look like obviously mistletoe, but I just done this festive kind of sprig. I created a wreath and that wreath has so much dimension on it. It was really lovely to make because they're all the dyes again that come in the, the set. And then just something a bit more simple, but I did just stress the edges so you could see that white core in the cardstock and I embossed that Christmas tree there. And then the last one, Oh no, it was just four. For some reason I thought I had to do five. No, it was four. Um, and then lots of other makes and, uh, and ideas and inspirations. I like that one there as well. So it's a cracker box lantern. So Helen's turned it into an actual little, like a favour box there. You could put treats as well as a, a little tea light, um, battery operated of course, in there. I always want to show more, but I do want to keep this as a surprise because obviously people are still receiving theirs. I will check to see if it's still available online because sometimes once they've all gone out to the subscribers, then there's an open stock if there's anything left. So check my link below if you would like to 
you know, see if this is available. But also if you're interested to sign up to receive future boxes, you can sign up for the whole year, you can sign up quarterly, you can sign up for six months, and you can sign up for month by month. But you do have to, you can sign up for the month, but then you have to make sure you then cancel so that it doesn't just roll, because it's a rolling subscription, but you can cancel at any time. So you can dip in and out um, depending on the boxes and you know which ones you like. So let me pop all this back. So that is box number 13 of the Paper Craft Society. I cannot wait to start making some lovely things with this one. And the next one that's coming out to us is by Lou Collins, which again, I had the joy of making some lovely samples for, and it is another wonderful one. Like I said, that every month is so different and I just enjoy them all because you get to create different things. And I think if you're someone like myself that just likes paper crafting and you don't really mind, you don't have a set style as such, you just like to try different things, these kits are great because they're always so different and they're We've, got, we've had obviously some repeats from some designers but they have a lot of new ones joining all the time so it's really really fun to be part of so thank you for watching as always like I said all the links will be shared below and I'll be back very soon with some wonderful tutorials using this kit